hi guys welcome back welcome back to the channel i hope you guys can hear me very very well all right so this is going to be for gemini gemini <laughs> we're going to do your video i feel like i've been channeling a lot of messages for you okay um earlier i was thinking about letting go and I felt like this is a message for you and this is not for someone that is just dating or anything like that and, and trying to find out about this person that they're dating. I'm feeling like a relationship that is fully developed, okay? I'm feeling like an older energy here. Um, doesn't have to be like in their 60s or something like that, but it could be. Um, this could be in the vibrant of the 30s and up, but... I feel like this is an energy that you've been with this person since probably you're very young, 13, 14 years old. And because this person, this energy is coming off as someone that knows you, someone that can bring a childish energy out of you, someone that can just lighten up your day or darken it very, very easily. It's like they have this power over you, um, but yet... I'm feeling like this deep attraction towards this person. Like you have a foundation where you guys are very attracted towards each other. And that is not the issue. The love is not the issue. I just feel like you've been with this person for such a long time that the energy that I'm picking up is like you lost your independence. Something about that you're not in control of yourself anymore. Um, the things that you like, the things that you buy, it's like they do everything for you so you, it's like a really strong codependent energy that i'm feeling here okay now keep in mind this message might be in reverse um but i just feel like i just need to say this to you because it's your video um i feel like there was a lot of things that you guys been through okay as well and it's it's been a learning process it's been a struggle, but yet you guys overcame that, but there was damage that happened within the time of this relationship. And there is this feeling of you need some time for yourself right now. You need to find yourself. You need to find your way. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like, what am I hearing like, um... I miss your kisses, like something to do with kisses. Uh, something to do with kisses, you guys. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I'm hearing that energy. All right, but I'm seeing like letting go. I'm seeing a journey that you're going to have to take. Tell me more about this. Okay. This is the devil. Okay. And then we have the temperance. So, devil in reverse, definitely dealing with some toxic environment here, you know, a lot of you. It's like this person has this ego thing that's going on in, in, within them. It's like they want to be free, of course, they don't want to be controlled. But I feel like with this energy, it's like it's turned to you, it's like you're being controlled here. Or they're trying to control you. It's like they really have this joy moment knowing that this relationship really stands firm with them <clears throat> making the decisions. And I feel like it's something to do with what they've been through in life, okay, that they never healed from. But I'm also seeing the temperance here, like your angels are actually coming into play. Because I feel like there is going to be a sense of peace that is necessary, but also like nurturing yourself and choosing yourself and making yourself first. Really, really discovering that, that element, that energy, you know? Really discovering that. Why am I seeing nurturing? It's like a lot of you, it's like the time, it's like, I'm getting like, the time that you guys met was perfect. It was meant to happen. But there was a lack of healthy boundaries like that was set within this relationship. A lack. So this person, you let them do it once, and they think that it's okay to do it again and again. You never set healthy boundaries. Oh. 
Okay, we have the Hangman, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Six of Cups in reverse, you know, the Past card here, and then we have the Magician in reverse. Very, very like, um, sick, oh my god, sick energy, you guys. It's like a lot of negativity here as well. It's like the thoughts... The words, I feel like there's a lack of positive energy coming through here. And if it was, it was just like this person is putting it down. A lot of you are stressing out because of this. You know, the things that this person is saying, the way this person is acting, it's like you lost control, you lost your power, you lost your independence within this energy. I'm also seeing the hangman here. So this person is definitely feeling like they're not going to do anything about this. You know, they're not trying to make you feel stable. What is this about? It's like they're, I'm getting like a lot of memories between you and this person. A lot of memories between you and this person. But there's something going on where you feel like you need to get away. You need to get away. I'm seeing the hermit. I'm seeing like you need some time for yourself to figure out what is out there for you um, because you lost yourself in this relationship. But you don't know how to talk to this person about it. You feel like this person and you've been through this over and over before. I'm also seeing the Wheel of Fortune here <clears throat> in reverse. It's a cycle between you and this person. And you talked many times. There's going to be a conversation uh, yet again with you and this person and I feel like you're like really standing firm this time and really like standing up for yourself and actually just like really speaking up for yourself and, and, and being, you know, not being cruel, but just letting this person know that you're not you're not a rug like you, that you can't do this anymore. Like they don't get you. That's what I'm feeling. Like you have to watch yourself with this energy. There is some kind of inf like unfairity going on as well. And a lot of you are stressing out about this. Let me see this stack right here. Tell me about this. What's this energy like? This is energy for Gemini. Oh. I wish I could be a different person. I wish I could be a different person. I definitely feel like you're not trusting your situation, your environment, like trusting where you are right now. And it's like this has been going on for so long that you're scared to even change the environment. Why am I seeing like you're, this person controls the money? And you can't get away. A lot of you have children. I'm also picking that up. I feel lonely. So you have a whole house. This is what I'm seeing here. A whole environment that you have made with this person. And there's people there, okay? Um, for some of you have children, souls that are around you. Um, and you feel quite alone. You feel like you don't know what to do in this situation. I'm seeing Sag energy, Pisces energy for some of you that you're dealing with. I'm seeing Capricorn, also Gemini and Virgo energy, and Libra. Tell me more. <clears throat> this is going to be, it's like you're going to have the success once you have the confidence to actually, you know, do what you need to do. It's just that this lack of feeling that you're just you know you can't go anywhere because this person is controlling everything i'm also seeing this page of wands here i don't know who this message is for but there's a lot of anxiety you're scared you're scared to take charge you're scared of you know living this life on your own it's like you want to you're excited about this when you dream about it when you think about it but there's something that is going on here this love, this commitment is empty. 
it's like you know that you don't know where you guys are going to be but the attraction between you and this person is 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 still there it's definitely still there but i just feel like this person don't hear you but there's like this linger and like not ready to let go not ready to let go and just working towards this even though you feel like you are tired and you need to make a decision in a two of swords you need to make peace with this there's um uncertainty uncertainty like you don't know what's what's going on you don't know where things are going to lie what's going to happen you're not certain about the future childhood trauma I was picking that up with this person with this devil here and that's why they're doing what they're doing to you because of course they never healed from it in the devil things that they have gone through they never had control within their lives and so now with you they just love having this control why am I seeing like at the beginning it was cool because you they took care of everything you know the little things he took care of everything for you and this was really cute and i feel like it got to the point where you're at dinner and they're ordering your meal and it's like damn you want to try something new today but they're like oh but you always have that no you always order it for me kind of vibe um and it is becoming annoying you know but a lot of you that i'm picking up made a life together with this person kind of avoided or ignored the signs of the situation and now you're in this situation with this person <sighs> hmm something about this passion that is just not the same it's not the same anymore why am I feeling like I know there is love here there is but I'm getting like I'm better with my mind than my heart it's like this person is like thinking that you know of course the heart they're in love with you they're in love with you that's that's no lie but they feel like their mind is telling them something, you know, I feel like their subconscious is telling them like, hey, something isn't right here, but their heart is telling them to stay. And I'm feeling that energy by pulling these cards. But the passion is real, like there is a lot of attraction here with you in this, this energy. Tell me more for Gemini. But it's all about peace here. I feel like I'm getting like it's all about peace. It's all about you making the decision to feel good about yourself because I feel like you're taking or you need to take an inner trip or some kind of journey within to find out what you want and who you are. Understanding your body. I'm hearing understanding yourself, your mind, mentally, everything. It's like this form of understanding that's needed within this connection for it to work for it to succeed and you know that by like staying here like this it's just not going to work hmm why am i hearing like some people are like oh this is so cute you know you know th this person just knows you better than you know yourself and you're like uh come on follow the golden rule <laughs> So a lot of you definitely need to do things the right way. I feel like a lot of you are going to just split without no clarity. The angel is saying don't do that. If you're thinking about that, don't do it. All right, choose love over fear, okay? So do things right with that love, you know? And not just do things into fear. Don't make decisions while you're, you're scared to talk to this person about how you feel just do this things do this the right way that's the vibe that i'm getting all right follow the golden rule do what you want people to do unto you 
okay because i'm feeling like that is something that's that's missing from this relationship my mom has a new deck that i want to try right here and this is also this is the soulmate love message oracle deck and i just want to see what it's going to bring up okay what it's going to bring up so let's see since this is love we're just going to draw like a couple cards like probably three from this and see what the messages are like for gemini what is this with gemini connection please tell me more about gemini connection <clears throat> something like flew out here okay so it says i'm thinking of you in this very moment in this very moment i miss you oh my goodness oh my goodness so i'm getting like the angels are saying follow the golden rule here because this person cares about you and they are giving me this energy that even though they're toxic or they're doing things a toxic way because there's some toxic about this person that they never heal from they really really think that they're doing things the right way so they kind of like you know even if you're like threatening them and say that you're going to leave and you're going to choose yourself they don't think that you're serious you know they don't think that you're going to leave them so i'm also getting a message pointed now here soulmate love messages oh this is the back it says <laughs> i'm reading the back of the card you guys so i don't trust easily but with you i feel so safe and accepted oh my god that's the energy that i'm feeling with this person it's like you're going through something and i'm saying you're because it's your reading but again this could be in reverse but i feel like you know this energy that i'm feeling is like they have no clue what's going on with you they have no clue no clue one more please whatever i see okay whenever i see flowers i think of you oh this is so cute oh my gosh one more one more i feel like this person needs another card okay tell me more me plus you equals power couple yeah they're they don't have any clue you guys <laughs> this person that you're with is in cloud nine they're thinking they're telling their friends that everything is fine at home they're telling their family that oh my god my person is this my person is that they're just living in cloud nine and have no idea how you are doing how you are feeling what you're going through the communication that you guys have they think that it's beautiful but you feel like you have gotten nowhere when the decisions that you guys have made i feel like you can feel like you made the wrong decisions and the, the magician there's just a lot of things that are here that are unsaid and you feel really stressed out and down about it and a lot of you you need to listen to your body because you are really you know like i said there's a lot of attraction into this and i also feel like there is a a childish energy here you know like not a childish energy to the point that this person doesn't take you like doesn't like like it's playing ping ball machine with you no that's not what i'm feeling it's like it's a childish energy where this person can make you happy and this person can make you sad very easily so when you see them you you feel this for familiar feeling it's like you knew each other from before you know you had many lives with each other it's like this familiar feeling that you're feeling with this person so this is what i have for you when it comes to love sorry it was so deep and it was like crazy but this was a vision that i had from before i even started to shuffle the cards this was like a message that I was getting for you, Gemini. Um, there is a letting go process here. And the message I feel like for you is if you're feeling this way, if you don't want to be here with this person, it's time for you to let go. And to be honest and do things the right way, follow the golden rule here because karmic can bite you, okay, if you're not quite careful. And um, yeah, this is what I have. I hope it resonates and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, Gems gems i totally forgot so this is going to be your video where you have the time the timestamp down below where it's going to be your your main reading like i just did right now and also it's going to be your singles because today's monday happy monday to everyone i'm so off today and then 
we are going to do a bonus for you as well. So keep that in mind. I'm going to clear this energy right here and then we're going to get back to the singles read. So if you haven't liked the video already and this video that I just did for you resonated, go ahead and like it. Give it a big thumbs up and then we're going to jump right into your singles. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. It's the scene Tarot. So this is going to be for Gemini's. Gemini's, how are you? This is going to be your singles read. Um, hopefully this resonates for you. But remember, it's a general, not a personal read. It's not going to resonate for everybody. But let's see what we have for you today. All right, so what's going on for Gemini's? Gemini single. Thank you, angels. What's the energy for Gemini singles? Gemini single. Ooh. So something fell here. Let's see what it's all about. Alright, so I'm definitely seeing the, what is it, the Five of Wands. We have the King of Swords. Why am I brain freezing? We have the Hermit. We have the Star. We have the Ace of Cups here. Ooh, we have some good cards, okay? We have some good cards here. The Ace of Cups, the Fools, the Page of Wands. I mean, come on. So definitely there's like this disagreement that's going on here. And this is a constant thing, but I feel like there's going to be communication. It's going to be good communication that is coming through for you singles, okay? This could be someone that is, um, you know, siblings, um, rivalry or something like that. They could be friends. There could be co-workers. Um, some kind of conflict that's going on here. But there's going to be clear communication after that. After that, I'm seeing singles that you're going to be distancing yourself from this energy. Okay, you're going to be moving forward alone, trying to figure out, okay, who you are and what you want, you know, with this information that you just found out. So a lot of you, I'm seeing Virgo energy around you. I'm seeing Aquarius energy. I'm seeing Gemini, Aquarius again, and Libra energy, okay? But I feel like the universe is aligning here. There's a new beginning happening and you're going to be jumping into it really quickly. There's an energy that is coming up, right? Want to talk to you, want to share something with you as well. <clears throat> I feel like this energy is someone that is very excited about this, um, honestly. And... It's like they're really passionate about what they what they want to say to you, you know? I feel like this person has a lot of anxiety as well, but I feel like with this anxiety, they're not making it overrank them, you know, and what they want. But there is so many things happening for you, you know? And it's happening very, very quickly here. There's a new beginning happening for you. When it comes to love, when it comes to things coming together, alignment, I feel like these people are coming into your life. This new vibe. Why am I feeling like you're losing people? Like you're maybe losing friends or connections with this difficult time that you're going through, okay? With this conflict. And you're going to be knowing what's going on here you're going to be finding out what's going on here it's going to be clear it's going to be clarity that's coming up with this situation and why this is happening and it's like you're building anyways so we have the hermit okay trying to make a better decision moving forward and this is why you're like backing away from any kind of drama any kind of negativity you're backing away from it because you want only positive vibes in the star. Positive vibes in the star. So. I'm seeing the Page of Pentacles. Chariot. <clears throat> the King of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. The Three. 
of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Wands. Oof, anything that is like really bad for you, I'm seeing like you're like walking away from it. You're like walking away from it. You're like putting an end to it. It's like a burden. You don't want to deal with it. You know, this has been happening for a while here in the Three of Pentacles as well. Like someone hasn't been upfront with you, haven't been honest with you. I feel like there is someone coming towards you. It's, it's someone that's trying to like work at something with you. And this is going to be clarity. Not clarity, but it's like this person. Let me just close this door really quickly. Okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right. So, um... This person is coming towards you because I feel like this person wants to logically um, share something with you, you know? There's an opportunity that happened with them that they want to share with you, and they're coming towards you. So they know which direction they want to go in. I feel like this person wants to be in your life. They want to be successful, too. It's a slow process, you know? Don't think that this person is rushing towards you it's a slow process they're pretty calm about this but i feel like you're diving into you know your 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 work you're diving into things that you truly want to blossom um singles but i you're going to be dealing with your past your past is just not over this is not something that you're very you know entertained about or going to be happy about this is someone that you're thinking that you know they come in your life just to make problems okay to make problems <clears throat> and nothing else it's like they're looking at this as in their own way it's like they're coming back in your life because of course when you were in your in their life it's was like only good things that was happening We have the Seven of Cups, the World, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Hangman, you have the Five of Pentacles, and you have the Justice in reverse. Oh, I feel like this person gives you the four of cups and this is why this is like okay you give more than what they what you're receiving hmm that's what i'm feeling you give more than what they're receiving you're receiving back from them it's like unjust relationship and i feel like your angels has been like watching over you this whole time you know and just like following the process of this relationship and if it's even worth it because you have learned the lesson, but this person, of course, hasn't, they can't, it's like they're, they're feeling the, the karmic energy right now of this, this relationship. I, I can see that this person never chose you, never chose you, and now something happened where they always put people in front of you, you know, bad decisions, bad decisions, bad energy, put everybody up like over you and they really felt good about this situation and i'm also seeing the two of pentacles where they're now overwhelmed with all of this they're now overwhelmed and they want to like make a decision they want to make peace with this i'm seeing the two of swords making peace with this I'm trying to follow their intuition here because you're looking really good really really good in the nine of pentacles mm -mm -mm. and they're not making any moves towards you it's because you're tying up these loose ends here you know you're just leaving the situation feeling with no clarity no justice but you're getting in the justice you're taking everything up this is what i'm feeling you're just like taking everything up a lot of you are ready to move on 
It's like you don't want to you don't want to have black, bad blood though. That's what I'm hearing. You don't want to break bridges at all. <laughs> wow, master. It's like you want to like learn more and I'm seeing like you're trying to be a better person. <sighs> I'm feeling like you're trying to like you really get to know who you are and yourself and just heal. You know, I'm seeing this huge heart here, you know, in everything. Like you're trying to protect your heart, but you're trying to be better. You know, you're trying to like grow, if that makes sense. Trust. Diving into something in the fools. as, as You have the fools twice over. Twice over in this. I feel like a lot of you definitely is ready for love as well with this card. I'm ready for something new, ready for love. You're ready to, you know, give love, show love. But I feel like you're like, what's important to you is trust and making sure that everything feels right within the universe before diving into something. Okay? Why is a star here in reverse? <laughs> I feel like this is a star in reverse. Helpless and hopeless. You, you're like in this um, direction in your life where you don't know where to turn or to do. I feel like there's this restriction happening here. Like you're going back and forth within your mind about something. But why am I getting like this is going to be short lived? Like this energy because you're doing so good. Yeah, take it easy, you guys. Just breathe. Just breathe and know that your angels are around you, guiding you, giving you that strength, you know, that you need to move forward. Yeah, look at that. Coming together. There's going to be love coming into your life. Get ready. This could be someone that is um, full of, you know, earth tone energy or even um someone that is full of water based energy but it's basically the heart someone that's compassion or compassionate i should say one more and then we're closing it healing begins so we're getting sag energy coming out here there's something about this that you need to heal from why am i feeling like this is like a family issue i can't get that out of my mind and there's like this new beginning happening for you as well within this um, fools that you're going to be diving in. And look, the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Now, there is someone trying to tell you something. And this could be the new person, Aries, Leo, or Sag energy gems that is coming towards you. And trying to share that they have feelings for you. They're kind of nervous. But then you have this past energy <clears throat> that you're also dealing with as well. That you're tying up loose ends from because you know this person is just not right for you and they don't appreciate you in the Four of Cups. And you're just like, you, you're, you're, you were kind of afraid at first to actually leave. And I feel like you have that energy within you as well, where you're kind of like, you want to move on, you want to leave this energy, but there's this... Um, there's this vibe of you're just afraid, like you don't know what's out there. You don't know if anything is actually better. And it's kind of like that card, hopeless, helpless, helpless, hopeless, okay? Like you're in this like twilight moment where you know that you need to make this decision for yourself. You need to move forward. You need to be happy. Hmm. It's like, where are you gonna go kind of energy? What do you choose? But the sun is right in front of you, though. There is, like, bliss ahead. You're just having this fear, this fear that's holding you back. You're, you're holding back yourself. That's the message for singles. There is so much there for you, okay? So much out there for you that is that needs to start, that needs to begin. But you have to have the, the, um, the passion, the determination, the beliefs to actually make it happen for yourself. And this is what I have for you singles. I hope that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one.
Bye, guys. Hello. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I started off this video horrible. Hi, Gems. How are you doing? Um, this is going to be your bonus. I got distracted just now, so <laughs> forgive me. Um, we're going to do your bonus read and see what messages we get from that. Everything will be timestamp in the description box because I also did your main and but if you reach at this level of the video then you know that your main and your singles are also attached to this video so let's see what's going on for Gemini bonus what's going on for Gemini bonus read thank you angels thank you for everything okay Sorry for the noise, they're doing work downstairs and I'm at my mom's house, so a lot of work is being done. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see what we have. So we have the two of pentacles, no, two of wands. The six of pentacles. We have the page of pentacles. Wow, I, <laughs> I'm just starting this and I'm like, Two of Pentacles, and then we're getting all these Pentacles, and then, you know, it's like, damn. So Pentacles were on my brain <laughs> this whole time. All right, Page of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Page of Wands, and then one more, please. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. I feel like there was a mistake that happened here. Somebody made a choice that didn't work out. You know, it costs you a lot of money. A choice that did not work out here but you're going to be starting over there's a start over process here that's happening it's going to be taking a while to get there to feel it to see the the success to feel the bubble but it's a, it's like an opportunity that has been presented that you are going to be taken right because there's something that happened that didn't work out the way you wanted it to i feel like there's a, a blockage of a friendship or somebody immature that didn't really take this seriously and you're not going to be speaking to this person again because there was the cause of this this is the situation okay now i feel like this person could be a gemini aquarius and libra energy but i'm also seeing cancer here in the chariot um, even though there's a lock, there's a blockage here between you and this energy, there's a form of uh, energy coming towards you, okay? And then we have the Page of Wands here, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So there is this energy of... It's like they're coming towards you to tell you something that is very important to them and they feel really good about this but after the fact it's like this energy kind of fades away like this um determination that they had about this working out or what you guys can do to make this better it's kind of like it's it's not going to work that's not why they're coming towards you anymore. it's like they didn't put in that that promise that they said they were going to do they didn't make things better you know Um, yeah, I feel like, look at this, they're holding back a lot of the truth and I feel like you guys are going to going to communicate about this, but there are so many lies, so many lies that they're lying about. They're keeping a lot of things from you, okay, a lot of things from you. I feel like, you know, you're going to feel stuck and feel like you're restricted, like you can't move forward because this person is going to put you into this kind of circle, like you're trying to leave the circle, but you're like swords are all around you you know it's like you're you're feeling trapped in this energy and then i'm seeing the three of cups here there's a lot of fakeness that's going on here as well it's about a third party situation as well like some kind of past energy that um or a situation that you're still in with this person <clears throat> that is some kind of un unfairity going on here and some kind of like they're keeping the truth from you and they're like juggling you as well, you know? 
So there's a third party that's coming through here. I feel like you're going to let this person know, like, you're not going to deal with this. You're not going to deal with this. And this is why they're so, like, <laughs> where's my drink? They're so, like, determined to keep the truth from you because they don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to move on. Watch out for this um, Cancer vibes or Scorpio energy, Gemini, for those of you. Um, I do see Aries, Leo, and Sag as well. I see Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra that you could be dealing with, okay? So whoever this is for you, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus as well coming up here. Yeah, Libra. So we have the Justice, the the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Lovers. And the King of Swords. Okay. Hmm. So I'm seeing like they're going to come to you and tell you these things. This, I feel like they're going to come you, try to come to you and tell you the truth before you get the truth from someone else. You're, you're appearing to be very important to them. They know that you're nothing to be messed with. You have the Queen of Wands here. This is your energy. All you're trying to do is help people. And they're rushing towards you here. They don't want to be separated from you at all. Um, you know, and the lovers. And I'm seeing a new beginning here. Very, very passionate about you. Very, very quickly energy coming towards you. They want this to be stable i feel like the only thing that's holding back you and this person is that there's a similar energy going on here because you have the king of swords at the end of it it's like this huge form of blockage um and i feel like it's about the things that you don't know about and but it doesn't really make sense because for this to be at the end i'm going to clarify in a minute but i'm seeing like this person is rushing right in to be with you and to have this ace of pentacles to have the stability to have this you know relationship they're very passionate they're attracted towards you they cannot take their minds off of you they're always thinking about you it's like they're tempted to call you anytime they pick up their phone they want to see your name you know they want to see that number um and i feel like even though they're if they're staying away they're like like hoping that they'll see that number um this person wants to try. They're not ready to let go of you, you know? And I don't feel like you are, you want to, but if this person doesn't, you know, act right, then you're going to have to make decisions. And I feel like they have this fear of being, man like, losing you. So there's, like, this manipulation energy that's happening between you and this person. It's like they're trying to manipulate you because you're coming off so, like, understanding and so kind um again this could be a libra because i'm getting like these ear qualities everywhere i'm getting like libra there into the justice for some of you if you're going to court for that with this person just know that they're not trying to fight you in court they don't want nothing to do with that <laughs> you know <clears throat> hmm. i'm feeling like there's an angel around you as well that's protecting you. Somebody that is like, this is an angel that you don't know about. And it, of course you wouldn't know about an angel, but I'm feeling like it's more like a family member that is kind of like protecting you. I'm seeing success and growth coming around you. You have number eight, number seven. I feel like what you're going through right now, uh, personally, is definitely something that you have to experience, but there's a lot of financial situation changing for you, okay? When it comes to your growth, when it comes to your success, when it comes to your tree, your money tree as well. <clears throat> I 
feel like you're waiting for some kind of results. Waiting for some kind of opportunity. Okay, let me just see what this person has to say. Tell me more about this. Tell me what this person wants Gemini to know. Hmm. I can't do this right now. There's something that you don't want to do this with this person, but let me clarify. Hold on. Let me just clarify this um this ace of swords here. Look at this deck that I've been using. Okay. I used this earlier. Don't know why I put it away. Since I need it now to clarify. Clarify this. King of Swords, Angels. What's going on with this King of Swords? Why is this in reverse? King of Swords. <sighs> wow. Okay. The King of Swords is in reverse because of the selfishness of this person. Energy. You know, I do see like this person is coming towards you to give you some kind of an apology. And you kind of, you know that this apology is, you know, organic and is coming from a good place. But I just feel like you look at this person and you're like, damn... You know, the energy is that you're not really there for me. You're not really there for me in this, you know, six of pentacles. And then you're like giving me this energy of the four of cups. You know, it's like you're in and you're out. You're not really wanting to be there. Like you're bored with me. Like you need, like you, there is someone else. Like you need some kind of um, action in your life. And the funny thing is, this came up twice. This imbalancement, right? With this person. It's like they made a wrong decision here. And the relationship was just unstable, but they're coming towards you. Hmm. So you're like playing hard to get with this person. You're showing them a lesson. You're not going to accept them right there and right then. You're going to be like, listen, I need to think about it. The knight, the king of um, the king of swords is an authority card. You know, so you could be, you know, like huge in ranking. Um, so this person probably thought that they hold the cards with you or they hold the power, but the truth is they don't because you do. You do. That's what this is. And you're letting that person know that. Like, you messed with me? You had the nerve to mess with me? Okay. I'm going to show you this. Thank you for letting me know how you feel. Cool. But I need some time to think about this. And just, like, play with their heart a little bit. <laughs> Yep, look at this. I'm scared of rejection. That's what I'm feeling with this vibe. This person, I'm scared of rejection. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> I wish to be like you. So this person is definitely letting you know it. Like this is what's going on. They wish they were more like you. They're scared of your rejection, but you're going to give it to them anyways, because I don't feel like it's something that it's based on this, 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 this emotion, like, you know, that they care about you, you know, that, you know, this is something that is, is organic, you're not going to just delete them, I feel like you're trying to show them something, like, you're nobody to be messed with kind of energy, okay, can't talk to you right now, see, right now can't talk to you right now tell me more i wish i could be different a different person so something that this person did to you that they're like really bringing up you see i can't promise you anything oh so i'm really picking up the vibe that this person did something shady shady here with someone else and because they're not even in the process of choosing who they want to be with it's like okay they're coming towards you wanting to be successful but at the same time this person this energy is not giving me the vibes that they are choosing between anything it's like something ended for them it's like this relationship that they had with this person that was shady that you felt it was shady I don't feel like it was anything serious, if that makes sense. It was just something that happened. But this is the lifestyle that they are choosing to live. And you need to be okay with that, which is really weird. And then 
I'm also getting like they're coming towards you for a new beginning. They like you a lot. They can't stop thinking about you. But you're coming off as a kind person. Be careful with this energy. Not that you should change who you are. You're kind, you're kind. But just know who to give it to, if that makes sense. Um, if you're going to be kind, me, for example, I give it to people that I know that I'm not going to get get it back from, like homeless people and stuff like that. You know, I'm just not thinking about getting like thinking about that um but i do help out people that i do know but just know that you're not getting that stuff back from that same person whatever that energy is that you're giving out and you tend to give a lot you know you tend to be that motherly figure that feminine energy you know and even if you're a man the same thing you, you have that feminine energy within you within your soul and you just care about things and then you might just murmur about it. So don't murmur about the things that you do for others as well. And when I say murmur, you always bring it up. Like, I did this for that person. I did that for this person. I get nothing back. It's like, come on. Don't do that. All right? So that is so unattractive to me. <laughs> but um, and to a lot of other people. But this is what I see for you, gems. This is what I see for you. I hope that this message reached you in a, a great time in your life. And you can just take this as a warning, if, if, it, if not anything else, okay? And um, yeah, just know where to place your energy and know that this person that is in, that's coming to you is not going to stop what they're doing. It's like they're, they're living this life, they're loving it. Keep that in mind. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye guys.